Welcome to Dead Boys Corner, and today what we're going to do is we are fixing Manhunt 1. Uh, this is my uh, Steam copy of the game, but this method should work if you have obtained this game through alternative sources. But I'm going to be using uh, my Steam copy for this one, even though it is an alternatively sourced copy because this game <laughs> is a cracked version officially sold on the steam store by rockstar games ah the hypocrisy is quality anyway besides that rant let's get into it in about three two one boom okay so now that we are at our steam copy uh, for Manhunt, uh, I'm going to select it to uh, GE Proton, but you can theoretically use any version of Proton uh, on the game. And then for the next step, we're going to add a non-Steam game. Uh, I'm going to go to my Mod Tools folder because that's where I have the fixer. And I will link uh, the fixer in the description, as long as with uh, all the other stuff of what I used to actually get this to work. So let's add the fixer real quick. Gonna go there. And I'm just going to rename this to be Manhunt Fixer. and then force and then i'm going to use ge proton but you can probably use proton 9 or proton experimental because they have the d input flag already anyway as we're going into our manhunt fixer we'll just let this boot up it takes a little bit just give it some time and then we're going to apply widescreen front end textures mhp recommended ps2 cache texture and fix global models and plug in mh and then for this part uh, i'm just going to point it to a sim link that i have of, of manhunt which is in my mod tools folder manhunt and then manhunt so just patch this real quick and press no no and that part is done now for me to actually patch manhunt i'm just going to delete that and i'm going to go into where i have my manhunt directory so it's just right here and then i'm just going to drag it to a place that I can easily find it at because when dealing with Proton it doesn't like to actually see dot directories that well and for Steam games that are installed internally they're in dot directories so it's in dot local share Steam, Steam apps, common and then the game but with uh, Proton because it's quote unquote a uh, a windows environment because it's essentially like well it's based off of wine which wine is compatibility layer to translate windows applications to be able to run on linux by translating it into like system calls and then proton is in addition on top of that so it's a whole bunch of tools so it's wine for basic windows translation then it's uh, DXVK for DirectX to Vulkan, and then VKD3D for DirectX 12 to Vulkan translation, among other things. So we just drag that into there, and then, then I would be able to run Manhunt Fixer and be able to select it to the directory. Now, once that's done, to get a controller working, 
uh, we're going to go into Manhunt, and then we're going to go into uh, our controller, uh, go to Community Layout, and I went with the PS2 Control Bluetooth one, because uh, so far it was the only one that actually worked, because Manhunt 1 by default does not have uh, controller support. Technically, it's supported with direct input controllers, but I couldn't get the translation working. So with this, it's just going to be a, a keyboard and mouse stuff. But it works pretty well. Now, let's actually get into the game, shall we? Oh, there is one last thing to do, because by default, it's not actually going to register. You need to actually go into uh, Proton Tricks and enable the ASI loader flag. So that will be, you go to your manhunt prefix. And just wait for this to load. I'm going to pop. And then now while we're back, it's going to go select default prefix, and then we're going to go into wine config because we need to pass through one DLL. And that is going to be ddraw because that is what the ASI loader is. Uh, you're going to apply that, press OK. And now when you launch the game, it shouldn't crash. And we are back. Uh, I forgot that um, I still had my D input translation uh, layer because I was trying to configure that to work. That unfortunately does not and causes my game to crash. So I had to delete it. But now that I deleted it, it now works like it should. Now to pop up controller support, it kind of likes to be a bit weird. So I'm just gonna alt tab into it and then click on fix and then go back into the game. And then that normally fixes it. Yep, now I can actually move it with the mouse and then it will be select to actually get into the game. I can't trust anyone, least of all the police, and time's running out. I've got to get the one piece of evidence that will expose Starkweather without a shadow of a doubt. Footage and testimony of a man who was executed by the state five hours ago. But I think uh, I might make uh, James a follow-up video to this, uh, actually installing death. mods, because this is kind of uh, three years a part one. This is uh, fixing night. the game, and then I think when I do a part two, it'll be installing mods but i'm still trying to find out uh mods about this game uh i saw that there was like a ghost face skin which that actually looks pretty cool so i might actually install that uh, uh into this install but i'm not entirely sure yet also this is technically a sequel to bully because uh the character is the same dude from Bully. <laughs> so this is kind of what happened after the fact. Dude turned into a psycho and you play as a game where you just kill a whole bunch of people. That's the way you're gonna want it because I'm your only way out of here. Hey, hey, easy, easy, look. You've had an unexpected reprieve. Do exactly as I say and I promise this will be over before the night is out. These streets are being patrolled by gangs. They're scum, just like you. And they're here to hunt you down and cut you up. I'll try to direct you as best I can, but other than that, you're on your own. It's up to you. Okay, are you ready? Camera, action.
So I'm gonna kill this guy, and then I think after that, um, that uh, should be the video. Please, God, let him come my way. I gotta get a kill. Suffocate this dude real quick. I'll be frank with you. We set that jump up to see if you had what it takes to be our leading man. And I'm just gonna quit out of that. And that is how you fix uh, Manhunt uh, on the Steam Deck. If you liked the video, give it a like. If you disliked the video, give it a dislike. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. And uh, if you haven't, uh, join uh, my uh, Discord if you want to talk about like game modding or if you need like help with it or just uh, anything involving Linux or uh, the Steam Deck or just the uh, day-to-day life. Um, I'm on there almost uh, constantly, and I try to reply in a timely manner. It's just uh, some things might uh, get in the way. Anyway, have a good one, and thanks for stopping at Dead, Dead Boy's Corner, and peace.